bacteria, viruses, fungi. We normally think of these organisms as our enemies. But they're not all bad. Our bodies are full of them, and it turns out we can't live without them. So what exactly are they, and what do they do for us? From the moment we're born, we acquire and nurture an internal ecosystem of symbiotic bacteria and other microbes, trillions of them in all. In fact, there are about as many microbial cells in our body as there are human cells. This thriving microbial world is called our microbiome. While some microbes can make us ill, we need our microbiome to survive. Combined, they're every bit as essential as our heart, our lungs, or our brain. We have microbes living all over our skin and in every orifice of our bodies, but most of the microbiome is in our gut. Our gut microbes are essential for digestion. They also help regulate hormones, and they can boost our immune system. Our microbiome consists of a wide range of microbes, some of which have beneficial effects on our health and some of which are detrimental. A healthy collection of microbes seems to be vital for our well-being, protecting us against some of the biggest threats like heart disease, obesity, diabetes, arthritis, and even depression. On the other hand, having an unhealthy microbiome seems to be a contributing factor for many common diseases. Our modern lifestyles, Western diets, and overuse of antibiotics might all be having a harmful effect on our internal ecology. So how do you cultivate a healthy microbiome? Well, it seems that the more diverse your microbial population is, the better. And the best way to increase the diversity of your microbes is to eat a wide range of plant-based foods. Research has shown that people who eat at least 30 plant-based elements in their diet every week have a wider range of bacteria in their gut, and that's linked to better weight management, better heart health, and better mental health. One easy way to boost your numbers is to add a teaspoon of mixed seeds to your breakfast. Every different seed counts as one of the elements. Whole grains, nuts, and legumes are all great things to add to your diet as well. For a few very unlucky people, your microbiome can go badly awry. For years, a man in the US experienced unexplained dizziness, mental fogginess, and memory loss. He was repeatedly pulled over for drink driving, even when he said he hadn't touched a drop of alcohol. Finally, he was diagnosed with a very rare condition called autobrewery syndrome, which happens when your gut gets colonized by Saccharomyces cerevisiae, otherwise known as brewer's yeast. These yeasts convert carbohydrates into alcohol, so the man was actually brewing beer inside his own stomach. That might sound fun, but this guy will tell you it really isn't. You can learn loads more about how your microbiome affects your health by subscribing to New Scientist. We've even got a special discount for our wonderful YouTube viewers, so click the link in the box below and enter the code SAM20 to get 20% off. The influence of your gut microbes goes further than you might think. In the last 20 years, we've learned that they communicate constantly with your brain, perhaps even exerting control over your mood and emotions. In fact, microbes can produce almost every neurotransmitter found in the brain, including serotonin and dopamine, and there are cells in the gut lining that can detect these neurotransmitters and send signals to the brain. Studies have found that when human volunteers are given probiotic yogurts containing four different types of bacteria, this affects the activity and connectivity in emotion centers of the brain, producing changes linked to healthier emotion processing. Another study found that pregnant women who were given certain types of bacteria had lower scores on depression and anxiety tests compared with a control group. Research like this has led to the idea that mental illness can be treated with drugs that target our gut bacteria, which have been dubbed psychobiotics. Your microbiome is a big part of who you are, so take care of it and it'll take care of you. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like and subscribe for more Science with Sam.